Hello friends, welcome to Expo Hub. Today we will learn about Join Data Table. Join Data Table has got multiple arguments. For example, it asks for input data table 1, input data table 2. That means the join data table will be done using two different data tables and the output data table will be the output where the output will be driven out of the join data table. And in that also we will be learning inner join, left join, full join and how do you use this operands and get the value out, right? These are various op operands which are available. How do you use that and get the value out? So let's get started. So for to start with, uh, you know, I have taken one Excel file which has got ID. So there are three different sheets I have created. Sheet 1, Sheet 2, Sheet 3. In Sheet 1, I have ID, I have name and phone number. Okay. In the sheet 2, I have ID again 101, 102 and 103 which again is matching with the sheet 1 but again it doesn't contain um, the name and uh, phone number but it contains the location and the department they work in. Okay. So we will use a join function and see and we will see a lot of differences that could appear while you use this. Okay, so guys, myself Rakesh, um, we do upload videos on Expo Hub daily. Um, please, friends, do subscribe to the channel and hit on the like button. Thank you so much. Okay, so let's get started. So the very first thing that I will do is I will use the activity to read that Excel file. Okay. I'll indicate the file path. You can also save these files inside the projects, but I have saved inside the document, so that's fine. So what I mean by project is okay, when you click on this project, okay, here also you can save the file. You can see that one of the files I have saved. Okay, you can just uh, right click. Okay. Here you right click and then you open project folder and there you can paste it. Okay, that way you can add it. So that is also a good way. Okay, so once I read that file, so it should read the sheet one and it should read the entire range. So you should remove A1, A2 by default, which comes and put a double quote so that it will read the entire range. And the output should get stored in a variable called control K. I will say DT1. Or data table one okay any name you can give all right so once that is created um, the next thing I, I want to read is the sheet 2 right so sheet 1 I'm, I have read and it is storing the values in DT1 same way I want to store the value in DT2 for the sheet 2 okay so I'll just copy this paste it and here instead of sheet 1 I'll modify that to sheet 2 all right, and here the output should be DT2. Remove that again. Control K DT2. Okay, so two outputs have been created. All right, now in the join wizard, just click on this join data table. Here, the input data table will become DT1. The next one become dt2 okay then the output will become here again you do a control k and type dt3 all right so now all the things has been set now if you go to variables panel you will see all of this dt1 dt2 and dt3 all right now to start with we will use the inner join okay now you know in our excel file the common um, key attribute is your ID which is a common in both sheet 1 and sheet 2 so I'll be using that one I'll go here and type ID in column table 1 is equals to ID in column 2 right okay so I'm done with this now I want to see the output so where I want to see, I will write, I'll click on write range, 
simple and then I'm going to store this over here here I'm going to point out and I'm going to write that in the same file how do you do that go to documents select that test file and here I want to write in sheet 3 in case you have not created sheet 3 it will automatically create okay, the right range activity and it should start writing from the A1 okay very critical thing guys right range on the right hand side you have something called add headers please do click on that okay that way the all the headers also will come all right now the data table will be dt3 right this is the output of the join data table dt3 which i am going to write it all right so i am done now let me run it so before you run ensure you close it so you can see that in the sheet 3 the data is blank close it do you want to say the changes you made to expo hub yes okay now i am going to run it okay okay the execution completed let me open that file <clears throat> wonderful now if you come to sheet 3 you can see that id has come name has come phone number has come okay phone number has come and the next from the table id 1 which is again a duplicate one it has renamed it to id 1 so we can remove column using remove column activity okay and then we have got location and then we have got uh, department so all of the value so inner join what it does it takes all the matching values and place it here so it takes all the columns and place it here now what we will do we will do a small change okay and we'll see what is happening in the sheet one i'm going to add let's say 5.5 .5 id and here i will say let's say john burger and his phone number let's say okay some phone number i'm going to give and then I go to sheet 2 and here I am going to put another name okay let's say 805 and uh, so these are not matching records these are different records and let's say I am saying uh, Florida or Tampa and then the department let's say he's from IT so these are two different people whose, whose records are not matching here now when you have such records right which does not match let's say I put another number 606 and his name is let's say Wendy and then I am going to give a number okay some number and then um, in the sheet one I am going to have that value 6606 six, six, right so I will say 606 six. okay okay uh, let me say New York okay and then let's say IT department so this is the matching record now you will see when you do a join uh, inner join data table what are the values which are coming okay so let me do that I will go back to the workflow okay so here again uh, everything is the same apart from the sheet data has been changed so we will see what is the output which comes all right so let me run this okay we'll go back to the file okay so the difference that has happened is if i go to sheet 3 where our output is stored so the matching record see 606 is a matching record which has come over here but anything which was not matching let's say uh, 505 was not in sheet 2 and 805 was not in sheet 1 if you see that all the data did not come okay so that is how you will be using the join inner join inner join takes out all the common values from both the tables okay that is the um, fundamental so 
the uh, the one thing that we do not see is the right join okay so in case you want to do a right join all you have to do is drag the file and keep it on the left there is no right join in ui path okay so we'll see how does the left join works okay so we'll click on left join and uh, before you do that just clear your sheet 3 output okay and then we will just save it So I have saved it. So let me run it and see. Uh, so this time I have selected the, you saw I have selected the left join, right? Okay, we'll see what is the difference in left join. Okay, execution completed. Now open the output file. Now what is happening? Left join takes all the values even if you see 5 not 5 6 not 6 everything has come even though it's not matching 6 not 6 5 not 5 first it shows all the matching values then it puts all the values even that doesn't match from the left table in the output right so that is all about the left join you want to do a right join just move your sheet 2 to sheet 1 and then you can do a right join and that should be your data table 1 okay so that way you can do a right join but again in UI path, you do not have that option. Let's do a full join. Now, I think the meaning is very clear to you. Okay. So, I'm going to select full join. Click on. Okay. Now, let me clear the output from here. And save the file. Now, let's run the full join. Okay. Now left join takes all the value, inner join takes the common values from data table 1, data table 2. Left join takes all the uh, values from the left side data table. Okay. And the full join will take, let's see that. So what is your guess? You are right. So let me open this. So it takes all the values. So you can see left uh, table 505, Wendy, and everything has come. And here also 805, which is not matching, even that has come. So it takes all the values from both the data tables. So that is all about um, inner join, left join, and full join. I think it's quite simple. And one more thing I would like you to test after this is utilize, uh, you know. Uh, greater than less than equals to so you have values 100 and 102 so not equals to just try that okay try and see how you can utilize all of these arguments and get your output in the data table all right guys so thank you very much for watching please do hit on subscribe while you go and hit on the like button thank you friends have a wonderful day